Yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Branch of Saint Discussions on Strike Seven Sports. In today's video, I was gonna go ahead and just talk about what went down today with the New Orleans Saints taking on the uh, Detroit Lions. They are officially on a three-game losing streak after losing this game by a score of thirty-three to twenty-eight. So, I'm gonna bring my the, the main takeaways for this game, in my opinion, from what I've seen. Is that this defense is no longer a league. It's no longer a unit that can that you can rely that you can rely upon to help this team out win football games. It's no longer the case with this, this this team. Defense has gotten a little older, gone slower, and they may have to go ahead and look at that scheme to um and change the type of players that they're targeting along that defensive line to um and and, and maybe the linebackers as well because. This defense is not what it used to be. It even it's not even what it was the first three weeks of the season. It has regressed big time, and I think for the time has started to set in on a couple few plus on a few players. If y'all know what I'm talking about, Demario Davis and Cam Jordan. It's just that simple. Um, defense they gave up up 21 points in a matter of minutes in this um this first quarter of this um. This game today, it was just awful the way they they played, you know, and they couldn't, you know, they, they, and when it was time for the Saints, when it was time for them to, to deliver, they couldn't do it. They couldn't make the stops. They let Jameson Williams and um, Jameson Williams and Robert Seba out of um, Alabama go right into the end zone. That's, it just showed you, that play just showed you how slow the Saints defense is. You got the Saints, they got the wrong guys. They got the wrong guys playing defense right now. The wrong type of players, man. Um, God, they, I know the Saints prototype, according to these uh, punters out here, is a guy is these defensive linemen that are 6'6", six, 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 you know, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, 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 weigh over 260 pounds. Those big, you know, long defensive end that got this massive size to them. That, that's not going to do it no more. That's not going to cut it no more because the Saints are struggling with – Mobile quarterbacks struggling to stop running attacks. Cause um, I was it wasn't too long ago that this Saints had a this defense the same Saints defense had a streak against defending the run. It was they wasn't allowing a hundred or a hundred yard rushing for so many games. You know that was uh, something to be proud of, but they can't no, they can't no longer do it. They cannot no longer do it, and they've always had issues. Defending um, tight ends until they signed, um, you know, Malcolm Jenkins and had had him playing with uh, Malcolm um, with uh, Marcus Williams back there, you know. And I know it's probably an unpopular opinion right here what I'm about to say, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it anyway. Malcolm Jenkins and Marcus Williams, the duel of Malcolm, of Malcolm Jenkins and Marcus Williams, is a better safety duel. What well, was a better safety duel? Than Tyron Matthew and Marcus May. Plain and simple, because with Malcolm Jenkins back there, Marcus Williams back there, the, the, there wasn't them quarterback was wasn't doing what he was doing today. Well, what, what the quarterbacks have been doing the last couple of weeks to the Saints, it just wasn't. You know, I mean, I know probably a lot of y'all gonna get ticked off when I say that. After I just said that, because uh, you still remembering, you still remember Walker Malcolm with my own. Marcus Williams for what he did in the Minneapolis Miracle, but outside of that, this dude was a really good safety. He was a really good safety for this team. And you see in the, the, the results of not having this guy on your team. You see in the results. Marcus May is not a better safety than Marcus Williams. I'm here to tell you that. He is not. He is not. And we and I and I we I regret, you know, I think we were regretting not ha not not bringing that guy back. We just don't have that type of player, man. You know, Tyron Midway, Tyron Matthew. I mean, he just not he not Malcolm Jenkins, bro. He can't he, Tyron Matthew can't guard tight ends like that. He can't cover the tight ends like that. And the way they use him compared to what he was was with the Chiefs is just entirely different. Cause they got him out there trying to defend DBs. You know, not DBs, defend wide receivers. Having him um, trying to defend corner um tight ends. You know, 
prime example, a prime example of that was the game against Jacksonville when he had to, he got um he had to uh, defend because of the circumstance he had to defend um Christian Kirk. Chris Kirk burned it for a touchdown. You know? And that's what you have with this defense now. You know, the offense, you know, I, and I kind of figured this game was going to play out this way. I did, I thought that, I felt like, I felt as though um, Detroit wasn't going to blow up, blow up the Saints. You know, it was looking like that in that, in that first quarter, but the Saints can't rally back, rallying back. Um, got, got things interesting, 24-21. Um, I think Detroit scored a, a, a fit guy, kicked the field goal. Saints um, got the ball back, didn't do nothing with it. Detroit scored another touchdown, I believe. No, they didn't score a touchdown. Saints scored again. Um, it was 28. It was uh, 27, um, 21. And then it was um, Detroit scored. Yeah, Detroit scored again. Saints scored again. It's 33 28. And the Saints just couldn't capitalize, man. They just couldn't do it. Defense. Had a breakdown, you know, and Sam Laporta went off on this defense. And if y'all listen, if you listen to my videos during the um the, the um the, the draft coverage during the time leading up to the NFL draft, I was talking a lot about Sam Laporta and about the Saints need to take Sam Laporta and have him on this offense because Sam Laporta is better than any tight end we have right now, way better. You know, and he cooked the Saints, man. Cooked them. You know what I'm saying? Um, Derek Carr was injured once again. Same injury that he had in the, in the Vikings game. A concussion and re to that shoulder. Jameis comes in. Um, almost threw a few picks in that game. In this game, to be very honest. You know, um... He has to make those throws, man. He has to make those type of throws. Chris Olave was wide open. Those balls were kind of um, underthrown by Jameis, man. This under, uh, not under throw, but wasn't thrown with accuracy. You know what I'm saying? Now, Derek, I mean, Derek Carr did what he had to do, man, but he wasn't perfect as well. You know, A.T. Perry wide open. He checks it down to Jawan Johnson. You know? Jawan Johnson has been a disappointment for this team. A disappointment. Plain and simple, man. You know, um, Alvin Kamara had a huge game, produced. Taysom Hill produced, left it all out there. Chris Olave produced. He seems to be back on the right path, you know, from a mental um, a mental standpoint and from a, a player standpoint. He had a huge game, but it wasn't enough, man. It wasn't enough. You know, and I know Dennis Allen having that same impassioned speech as he always had with his team, you know, when um once they lose about them needing to get better and they're gonna keep they're gonna um keep chopping wood until they have a breakthrough. I'm paraphrasing here, but that's what he said. I mean, how long is it gonna take? You know, you got you don't have that many games left. You know, next your next game against is against the Carolina Panthers and after that it's the New York Giants. You know, um, you just, uh, being for playoffs, this team is on its last leg. It's on its last leg. Let's be being real. Um, the big game, I'm going to tell you the backbreaker for the Saints. I'm going to be the backbreaker for the Saints that's pretty much going to kick them out of the playoffs is the game against the Los Angeles Rams. That's on the Thursday on um, Amazon Prime. You lose that game, that's a wrap. That's a wrap for you for the playoffs. You know, um, Atlanta, they played against the Jets today, won. So they got, now they have a two-game cushion on you. Two-game cushion on you in the division. Well, not two games, but, well, yeah, it is a two-game because they, they, they won today and Tampa Bay won today. So both of those teams have tiebreakers over you in the division race. You know what I'm saying? And Atlanta ain't been, had, didn't blow the Jets out today. They didn't blow. They really, they really didn't blow out the Saints, you know. But they're making the play, the right plays, to put themselves in a position to win. So that's just what that's what happening, you know. But um, for this game, man, it just shows you what's wrong with this defense, man. It is they having struggles, they have issues covering tight ends, 
They can't, they can't no longer stop the run. You know what I'm saying? And they don't, the quarterbacks are not killing the Saints over the top. It's crossing routes. Crossing routes. Passes to the tight ends. Running the football. Saints used to be dominant in those areas of stopping on running backs. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's going, they have to do some, they have to um, change the way they, um, um, the way they view players, man. The way they view prospects. Because the um, proto prototypical 4-3 defensive lineman, 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, 260 pounds. That stuff ain't going to cut it anymore, man. Because that that formula is not working for this defense. You may need to get just a little smaller and get more, invest in more hybrid guys. You know, maybe Zach Bond would work if you use him the way you should use him. Like they use him at, in Wisconsin. You know, if you could break out of your um, system the way you do things and let this guy play on the line, you know what I'm saying? See how it, play, it, it plays out, you know? But instead, you all want him to play like a linebacker, a traditional linebacker. You know, kind of similar to what happened with um, Harold Perkins in at, at LSU. Harold Perkins, you know, a monster of the edge and all that, making plays, coming off the edge, just making plays all over the field. Last season, this year, that he's playing a middle linebacker on Mike. So, something to look at, man. Something to look at, man. But defense is what it was, man. Defense, this defense has regressed. I mean, it has regressed for a while. It is the, the, you know, cracks have been, you know, coming for a while with his defense. You know, and it's no longer the unit that can stifle a quarterback. It's no longer a defense that can keep the team in, in games. You know, and when our, the way the way our offense is, it's critical that we have a defense that's functional, a defense that can cause turnovers. A defense that can, you know, take away a team's running attack. A defense that can force another offense, force an offense to not cross the 20 yard line. We just, they don't have it right now. You know, and the draft, I mean, today, it was now, I think, now they go from 10, uh, <coughs> excuse me, they go from, um, Picking 12 in the draft to now picking 10. You know, this team got so many holes across the board on offense and defense. Well, I mean, offense is not bad. There could be some upgrades. I think a tight end, could, there could be an upgrade there. But everywhere else, I think the offense is, is, is a squared away. Uh, outside of the uh, offensive line, that could, I think that, need, that needs to be rebuilt as well. Rebuilt as well, but... This team has a lot of holes, you know, but it has to start at quarterback. And I've been kind of a big proponent of this team drafting a quarterback. And, you know, I mean, Derek Cook could still be the guy because, you know, you owe him, you know, all this money. You don't want to take this $50 million um, hit, this hit, this uh, dead money hit, if you let him go right now. But keep Derek Cook, have Derek Cook. But draft a quarterback and let him learn. Do what Kansas, Kansas City did. You know? And then once the, the, the new guy, the new quarterback is ready, send Derek Carr on his way. Somebody would want him. You know? But um, tough loss today, man. Tough loss today. You know? Um, the team fought. They, I could tell that it was fighting in that second half, man. Fighting in that second half. Just a um, right, ex, uh, lack of execution, breakdown on defense, allowed this game to not go their way. The way the final result didn't go the Saints' way. So now the Saints are five and seven, and um, continue to dig themselves in a the hole in regards to a, a wild card playoff spot and a, the NFC South. You know, Tampa Bay is ahead of them because they beat the Carolina today. Um, the Rams won today, so. They starting to get they starting to get on track as well, 
you know, so let's see how it's going to play out, man. Um, next week is the game. It's another home game against and against the Carolina Panthers, and hopefully that's not the game where Bryce Young has his breakout performance because we all know Saints do struggle with rookie quarterbacks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So hopefully that's not the case next week. So we'll see. All right, so I will have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to, channel, to, su subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Do you think this defense is falling apart? Also, check out strikesandsports.com forward slash Saints. For the latest content on the Warren Saints organization, have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out. Later.